Hello, it's Bernadette Jansen from the School of Renovating and today I'm talking about doubt. You may have noticed when you are working on something, it might be a reno project, it might be an aspect of your work that you're finding challenging, that sometimes that you have these thoughts creep into your mind. So start to wonder if you're really up for it, you can be thinking, can I really do this? What if something terrible happens? And then there's, am I good enough? Am I smart enough? Am I too old? Am I just not in touch with reality? The thing is that if you allow these negative thoughts to pervade your thinking, they will wreak havoc. And so it's really important to deal with them. Now, how do you do that? Well, the first thing you need to do is notice when you are having them. Often you can be going along, well, I certainly have had this, I'll be going along for a few days with these negative thoughts at the back of my mind really undermining my confidence and before I actually realise that that's what's going on. So the first thing to do is to notice that they're happening and stop immediately. Stop and think about what you're thinking. The next thing to do is to notice or know that this happens to everyone. It's not just you. Everyone has doubts, wonders if they're really good enough. Unfortunately, it's the human condition. And the third thing to do, and this is something I find really helpful, is when I find myself in that sort of state of mind, I actually go on a really solid diet of personal development. So I've got a few people that I follow that I find their work really helpful. So people like Brene Brown, uh, Joe Dispenza, recent favourite is Marissa Peer and I really encourage you to go and look at some of her videos on YouTube. Just Google Marissa Peer. I know I found it really helpful and I think you probably will too because the thing is if you're up if you're playing a big game you really do have to manage your thinking. As they say you can't solve a problem with the same thinking that created it. That's my message for today. I'll see you in a day or two. Bye.